All right, cool y'all pee, the nerds of color. Amari Hardwick, Matthias Schwedt, Army of the Dead. What's wow. up? Good What's to up? see y'all. Yo, man, you, you said my brother's name. You said my teammate's name perfectly, yes. I think. Did he, think... Matthias? No, that was amazing. That was like really impressive. Wow. All right. I'm going to brush my shoulders off. Thank y'all, gentlemen. You should brush your shoulders <laughs> Thank off, bro. You. Brush the hat. Tip your hat. Tip your hat. Take a bow, bro. There we go. All right. Damn. It's a pleasure, y'all. Uh, I got to ask you my first question out the gate. What is the first thing y'all going to do in a zombie apocalypse? Matias? Survive. And, uh, and maybe, yeah, survive and run. That's the uh, be good at cardio and hopefully uh, work out every day. Uh, it's uh yeah it's uh you know being the best version of a runner i love it i think for me i would just try to blend in as as best i can and uh you know it's kind of hard of course to to go find a zombie suit in the middle of a zombie pandemic but perhaps if one of the zombies are dead which there are definitely going to be some zombies dead i might go that gross route of skinning that zombie and wearing their skin uh I, I think Anthony Hopkins isn't necessarily foreign from that. I think he's lived in that space. And of course the Hannibal Lecter. So perhaps wearing of the skin of a zombie would allow me to blend in and therefore not be taken down. Okay, I, I can understand that now. A little gross, but I can understand that. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, I loved y'all's camaraderie in the film. Uh, it, it was cool seeing how your characters came together and then towards the end. Uh, what was it like working together? so fun every day man yeah so fun like it was really cool to uh read that on script obviously that that chemistry that was uh to be formulated and, and to be expounded upon on script you see it you see it on page but it's always a beautiful moment as an actor when you see it come to life not just for you guys as the viewers or or for you as journalists who get sneak peeks before everybody else but for us as the actor you know we're fans of each other's work and whether i knew matias prior which i had not um, it, it made it even better because now I'm learning this guy without any kind of preconceived notion about his prior work. And that just afforded me this really great uh, reality of, of being an eight year old and just watching him do his thing and then pushing the button to be grown as Vandero again and then unpushing the button and going back to eight years old and watching his thing. It was a, a ball of cherries to work with uh, Matias every day. And I would do it hopefully for several movies to come in the future. Yes, sir. Matias, uh, what was it like working with Amari and the rest of the cast? Oh, it was like, you know, every day, like a big playground of, especially with Amari, it was like, you know, like two, f okay, he was seven year old, he was a seven year old child, and I was like maybe three, but it's like, <laughs> but uh, we had this beautiful playground and Zach was so, was wonderful to work with. He was like, okay, throw every idea in, uh, give me all, all you've got. Uh, uh, um, and that was wonderful and welcoming because there were, there, there were no borders, you know, it was like, you know, asking uh, the first day Omar and, and me, when we met, it was fantastic because I knew him from power and I was a fan, but it was like, okay, can I do this and just poke you in the eye and just do this and just like throw a gun at you? And he was like, oh, what the fuck? That was great. Okay. Okay. That's great. I love that, Mr. Dieter. And it was, uh, so that, so that was like, that was like wonderful. And he, he always, he, he opened all his doors and, uh, let me in. So that was like fantastic. Love it. Um, as the nerds of color, we're all about representation. Amari, man, oh, man. I, I loved, I loved it till the very end. Then, th then there was that twist that had to happen, but yeah. I'm not going to give it away. Uh, but no, can no. you just talk both, uh, both y'all about representation and, and what did that mean for you all working with such a diverse cast? Uh, it on, it on was so, project? it was so, so needed. It was, uh, it was so needed because uh, as you know, I'm definitely about diversity and, and said it on so many interviews, um, diversity matters in terms of knowing equally your cafeteria table that you come from and knowing who you are, that so matters even more. You can embrace diversity because of that. A lot of people, you know, they really have this notion that you can't really leave your cafeteria table. And if you do, it doesn't necessarily mean that you, you like your cafeteria. It means that you don't necessarily like your cafeteria table. And it doesn't mean that, as you know, uh, once you love yourself and that in in includes your culture and, and your 
upbringing and how different that means for black and brown Americans equally, which Matthias learned in talking to me, um, there is the moment where you can then, of course, love other cultures. And so for Zack Snyder, who has adopted uh, a, mul a multitude of cultures in terms of the kids who he and, and Debbie, his wife, have adopted, um, to think the way he does for, for allowance of there not to be any kind of feelings about uh, sexual orientation or religious beliefs or this person, you know, being thought of as better than this person because of color or gender or what have you. Uh, he equally inserted that within the film, you know, in social commentaries um, that truly become, in my opinion, the heart of the film. Not just the brokenness of these characters that are in hunt of the zombie characters, but the real broken nature that we as a society, as a globe, know this world to be. So that's a big deal, man, to play an African-American in this genre. Um, and Netflix, man, is just doing an incredible job of allowing Omari this moment. I've just done a movie called Pieces of Her or a limited series with uh, Tony Collette and Bella Heathcote. And I'm playing very, very different, obviously, um, than I would be playing in a zombie movie. But equally, I'm about to go into a, a film that I can't talk much about. But the genre is that which you don't see a lot of people who look like me getting down in or look like you. So it's a big deal to be able to have a, a woman from France, a, a woman from Mexico, a man from Mexico. Um, or, or culturally, at least, uh, you know, via Texas and Raul, but, you know, from that culture. And equally to have the Theo Rossi be this ambiguous reality of a Syrian blood meets, you know, other cultures and diversities. And then you get my teammate and Dave Bautista being Greek, but also Filipino. And then you mess around and you get Matthias, the great Matthias, um, who is of German descent. And that's a big, big deal to put us all into one pot, male and female, and say, go. Go represent us, represent Netflix, represent me as Zack Snyder. My wife is Debbie Snyder, and, and let's see what sticks. That's a big deal for me. Excellent. That's a beautiful way to end this. Amari Hardwick, Matthias Schweighoffer, Kui AP, Thank the you. Nerds of Color, representation matters. So Thanks, much. Guys. Thank you so Peace, much. Bro. Appreciate bye you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Peace, bro. He's dope.